Let's go over how to return output from an AWS Lambda PowerShell script. In my AWS console, let's take a look at my output test Lambda function, which I've already created. For this demo, I've created a test event called output test. Now let's take a look at it. In this test event, I'm passing some JSON data with the values red, blue, and green for colors 1, 2, and 3, respectively. Now I'll switch over to VS Code to take a look at my PowerShell script. One thing to take note of is on line 7, the last item in the PowerShell pipeline will be returned as a result of the Lambda function. That's important to remember and I'll show you why in a minute. When I scroll down to my script, I'm using right host to output some text to the CloudWatch logs. Then I'm building a hash table to assign the different colors from the input data we are expecting to cars 1, 2, and 3. And finally, I'm going to return that output hash table. So let's go ahead and publish those changes. To publish a Lambda function, we'll need to be running in PowerShell 6 or higher, and we'll also need to install and import the AWS PowerShell and AWS Lambda PS Core modules. I've already assigned my access key and secret key to my variables, and I'm going to pass those to initialize AWS default configuration. Now let's go ahead and run publish AWS PowerShell Lambda with the name of the function we are updating and the script file that we would like to publish. Now that that's complete, let's go back to the AWS console. Now let's go ahead and run the output test event. When I expand the details, we can see the result that was returned from the function execution with cars 1, 2, and 3 in their colors. If I scroll down to log output, we can see the testing Lambda output message that I wrote to the logs with write host. Keep in mind that using write host will only write to the CloudWatch logs. It will not be returned as a result of the function. I mentioned before that only the last item in the pipeline will be returned. Let me show you what this means. Back in my script file, I'm going to add another hash table with some data in it called output2, then return that to the pipeline. Now I'll go ahead and publish those changes to AWS. Back in the AWS console, when I run the test event again, you'll notice that only the second hash table is returned as a result of the function. That is important to keep in mind when writing your scripts. And that's how to return output from an AWS Lambda PowerShell script. Thanks for watching.